Hello and welcome, my name's Fraser from Elementary Technology. I'm here in our experience centre today having a look at Promethean's new Active Panel 9 Premium. So first things first, I'm just going to get signed in. So I tap on there with my NFC card. This is a great tool actually because the NFC card, it's a tap and I'm signed in. So that takes all my data with me and it also closes it down and keeps it safe when I'm out of the room. If you're in a high school and you're moving from classroom to classroom, brilliant tool. It saves me having to tap, type my email address, type my password every single time I move. So the NFC reader, brilliant. Anyway, first things first, let's start with the hardware. So simple stuff like connectivity. I've got easy connectivity here that I can plug into at any time and round the back I've got loads more. For instance, I can plug in with a HDMI cable from my laptop, HDMI, USB and you're ready to go. But even better, this screen has got a USB-C. So my laptop at the moment is plugged in using USB-C. That means it's one cable doing the image, doing the touch and also powering my laptop. So my laptop never goes flat in a lesson, which is a big deal. As well as that, you know, you might want to plug in your visualizer. You might want to have an onboard computer like this one's got. It's got everything. So let's move on from connectivity and have a look at some more interesting stuff. This, this is a great tool. Four dots, but what are they? They're the microarray. So a microarray essentially is a brilliant microphone within your classroom. And I'll show you why you need one. If I come into here and go into my applications, just scroll across, it's this one here, screen record. I can screen record anything I do. So for instance, let's say I've got a student off today, quite often happens. So I don't want them missing out and they don't have to. I can just tap record and it records everything that happens on the screen, whether I'm on the internet, in Active Inspire, you name it, any of these tools, it will record the lot and it records the sound as well. The microarray is so good, it's not just picking up my voice, it's also picking up my students that are here with me too. I can then send that off to my student who wasn't in that day, and it's like they were here when they get to look back at that. So that's a brilliant tool to have. As well as that, you saw we've got the NFC card. There's actually two of those that comes with each screen. I've got my remote here, so if I want to pause the screen, freeze it, if I want to change between the sources, or just change the volume from my desk, not a problem, I can keep that on my desk. Pens-wise, you've got two of these. So you can always hide one away to keep it safe in case you lose the first one. And you've also got a rubber. So I hide my rubber on the back. It's got a magnet in it, so it sticks to the back of the screen. Any mistakes I make on the whiteboard can easily be rubbed off. Just gonna pop that back there. And on the hardware, that's it really. You've also got things like, for instance, the display itself, which is always worth talking about. So with the display, it's so much better than a interactive whiteboard. It's so much brighter. You can see it from pretty much everywhere in the room. And on top of that, it's really tough glass. So it's 4K image. Every child is going to be able to see it, which really, really matters. Let's have a look at the rest of it. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the screen's own abilities. Firstly, what do I mean by own abilities? Well, if you had a projector and maybe a board before, you would have found you just plugged your laptop or your PC in and it just did whatever your laptop or PC did. With these, they're very much like having a giant tablet in the room and they can do so much more. So for instance, I can go here into the applications and just like a tablet, I can go through all of my apps. So we've actually already talked about one of these. We talked about screen recording. So the next one I'd talk about would probably be screen share. Screen share is brilliant in the classroom. It allows me to connect up all of my students in the class to the board. So whether they're on PCs, laptops, Chromebooks, iPads, any sort of tablet, any sort of device, I can connect them up. I've only got one person in my class today, but what I can do is I can tap on them. I can see what's happening on their screen. So maybe they're writing something in Word or they're searching something on the web and I can have a look at what's going on. I can even grab my pen and I can annotate over the top of it. So it's a really, really good feature to have. And also I can connect up my teacher device. So maybe I've got an iPad. I want to go out into the room, but still have control over the board. I can be doing things on my iPad or showing them up on the screen. Okay, so back into the apps. Next one along I'd look at is the whiteboard. So closing the name really with this one, it's a whiteboard canvas. It's so much better than just having a whiteboard on the wall with a few old pens that don't work. 
In here, I've got lots more tools. So firstly, I've got an infinite canvas. So it does kind of look at the moment as if this is my whole screen. But actually, as I just slide that up there, you can see here, I'm able to move further down the screen and I can keep going. It's an infinite canvas. So I'm just gonna select back over onto the pen now, tap on there again, I can change the nib size, and then I can start using my board. If I make a mistake, I can just use my hand to rub it out or use my rubber. And you can kind of notice already, writing on these is so much better than writing on an old board. They are pinpoint accurate and very paper-like experience. So I've got my basic tools there that you can see, pens, paper, We've got things like highlighters as well. I can even change the paper I'm on. So maybe I want graph paper. Even with that graph paper, maybe I want to change the line coloring so it's red. I might go into there and actually change the background. So we might have a bit of a different color background. So you can change all these things. I generally have it in this nice little cream color. It just takes that sort of edge off the white. Anyway, loads of tools down here. One of my favorites, if I just scroll up again from there, is the ability to split my board in half. So now I've got two boards. I've got one here, one here, and I can get the students writing on both sides. So I can get them working collaboratively up at the board. They've got access to all the tools. And then as soon as I want to come out of this, I just tap back and I go back into single use. So, Really simple to use. There's a few tools that you'll recognize from Active Inspire in here as well. So if you've used Active Inspire before, you'll notice the tools are very similar. If I want to make them bigger, smaller, they're very intuitive. So let's say for instance, pop that down there, move that out of the way. You can see how nice and simple it is. And then I can just draw around the edge. I can pick it back up, move that up to there. Now I can tap on the dot and change the use of the tool. So now I might be going from there to there to see the angle. Tap on it again. And we can go around the outside. So all the tools are super intuitive to use. Easy to save just up the top as well. So you can always share these. It's very easy to share things with your computer. So at the moment I'm working on the board, but because of ActiveSync, what this allows me to do is anything I save, I can send direct to my laptop. So even though I'm working on the board, I can still save it over onto my laptop. So that's a really good feature. Right, back into those apps, because I want to show you the last two together. And I'll show you why. I want to look at annotation and screen capture. So first things first, I'm gonna go onto the internet. So we've been talking about GCSE subjects today. So what I'd like to do is I'm gonna go into my apps. And the first thing I'm gonna use is annotate. So I just want to be able to annotate over the top of this screen. So I'm on the internet. I could be within an app. I could be over on my desktop, on a PowerPoint, on Active Inspire, you name it. This will work over the top of anything. And what I want to do is I want to use the highlighter and go for the blue one. And we're gonna have a look at our subject. So it's this one, it was this one we're talking about. And it was also this one. I'm also gonna to change to the pen tool and just pick up on these two, because there was an idea. We might also cover those ones off, and actually that one. Anyway, once I've made these annotations, a lot of the time, you're just gonna close it down and clear them away and move on. But sometimes you might want to actually keep them. If it's students annotating on the board, it might be evidence that you want to keep. So that's where we use the next app. I can come down into the applications here, and we've looked at annotation, I'm now gonna look at screen capture. So this is saving what we've got. So I don't need the whole screen. So instead of just capturing the whole screen, I'm gonna come into here and just take the bit I want. So I'm making it so much neater. Click done and quick save. There we go. And now that is saved onto my screen. I can even bring that into the whiteboard if I want to, which is really handy. If I want to maybe make some more annotations later on. Okay, so we've had a look at some of the applications. There's loads more within there. What I want to do now is I want to pop over to the desktop. Okay, so we're on our desktop now. You'll notice I've got access to all my files as usual. So my emails, my files, and my lessons as well. So lesson-wise, 
you've got Active Inspire. Active Inspire is Promethean software and it's brilliant for delivering lessons. I've got all my content in here ready to go. If you'd like a demo on Active Inspire as well, you can check that out next. But for now, thanks very much for watching. If you'd like to know more, get in touch. You're very welcome to come to our Experience Centre and actually get hands-on with the screens as well. I'll see you again soon.